Hi everyone, it's Simon here from High Plane Games. Hope you're having a great day. This is Donut County, a review of a game that I was super looking forward to since I first saw its trailer last year. Uh, it was described at the time as a reverse Katamari, where instead of rolling stuff up in a big ball to try and roll up the world, instead you're sinking the world down into a big hole that you control. Uh, whilst I would say that it definitely isn't as good as a Katamari game, I really enjoyed the time that I spent with it, uh, and I'll explain the reasons why it's not so good now. Uh, you control a very simple to control hole, and the idea is that you grow in size the more stuff that falls down into it. So you start off with the small things in every single map that you start off with, so like little blades of grass or a brick or uh, like a puddle or something like that, and you'll start sucking it down until you get bigger enough to start putting in benches, tables, houses, uh, bits of machinery, farm animals, all kinds of stuff depending on the stage that you're in, uh, goes and drips down. Beyond that, after you get past the first couple of stages, um, you start to have extra stuff happening where you can start filling up your hole with water so that you can then put out a fire, for example. Or instead of what you see on the screen, you're creating a soup to feed to the bird to spit out so you can serve up the chef and then the bird will come out. Um, that's all fine and good, but what I find with this is that every time it shows a really good mechanic, it never comes back to it. So in each level where it does play with the mechanic, it only ever does it once and then it's done and dusted and then you never use it again. And so each level becomes highly superficial um, because there is no challenge in finding what is next to do. Because it's essentially, does that fit in my hole? Which I suppose, <laughs> now that I've said it, is probably a job that a lot of people should really understand and know about. Uh, but the levels are so small um, that the level is over before you've really got into the joy of scooping everything up. The joy of a Katamari game, for example, was that you had extensive stuff that you could go nuts for and really go and get your teeth into rolling up all kinds of stuff. These levels only have like 10 or 12 things per level and then it's done. So by the time you're like into the swing of it, you're off and away and then it's over and you kind of think... Um, and so from that perspective, I found Donut County to be exceptionally frustrating because it's a fantastic game and it's super um, addictive as well as satisfying to just watch everything drop down a hole. But that's all that you have and you've just seen a level that completed on the screen. That's one of the more complicated ones and that says a great deal, I think. Too. Outside of that, Donut County has this Trashopedia, which you're going to see on the screen now, which is where BK, your uh, raccoon that you play as, uh, basically classifies the entire world that drops down in this hole, and I find that absolutely hilarious. What Donut County does have is personality in spades, and I love the game for it. The story is hilarious. Um, where you meet your different characters that you've dropped down into the hole and then they're like, well, what do we now do to get back? Because although it's a disaster that has happened because BK is a complete and utter nut job, um, he's probably actually done everyone's lives a favour by chucking them down a the hole. <laughs> uh, so I absolutely love that aspect of it. I just wanted more. This game can be completed in 90 minutes flat. Every time it shows a new mechanic, it then does nothing with it. And so there's so many excellent ideas that I was like, ah, oh, could you not just combine some stuff together and create some really unique and interesting puzzle mechanics here? But it won't do it. This is casual gaming for fun, brain-free enjoyment where you can just get the satisfaction of dropping stuff down and having that be the end of the game for you. Um, so overall, I give Donut County like two hearty thumbs up because I really enjoyed it. But I wished and could see that it could be so much more than what was given to us. I hope that was informative. A written review will be over at highplanegames.com. Take care. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.